Okay. Yeah. A new initiative yeah, for the visually impaired is taking off in Hampshire, with players like Glynn attending Prince's Mead School in Winchester to take part in blind football. Glynn, an ex-England international, talked of the benefits of the sport, as well as some past glories. Very fit, very active. Uh, someone my age yet yeah, keeps me going. Uh, knackered afterwards, but you know, it, it, it's really good for coordination. Not just in the sport, but outside as well. It gives me a good uh, sense of balance. So, yeah, really enjoyable. I played a couple of times for Great Britain in the late 90s. I scored in the past against uh, Spain. That was many years ago. That was a good feeling. Coach Michael Conway has worked with Glynn for two years now and has some serious ambition for the future of blind football in Hampshire. That, that, that's the aim for Hampshire FA to get a team. We only need four players to make a team. They, they play five aside. The goalkeeper's fully sighted with four blind players. So hopefully in the near future we'll have a team. That'll be amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, I've worked with some mainstream players who have gone on to make a pro in the game and I'm quite proud of that fact. But to get somebody to actually win the World Cup for England would be amazing. We've just seen Glynn take part, but now let's see if Winnell can step up to the challenge. Turns out blind football is just as hard as it looks. With players and coaches like Glenn and Michael, it's clear to see there's massive potential for blind football in Hampshire. And hopefully one of Hampshire's blind footballers can go on to represent their country just like Glenn. Isaac Edwards, Winchester News Online.